Let's just play a game. Not that I really aim at uh, fighting a lot of Util, but... Um, that works, so here we're facing... LH... El Urgorif. Gorif. Alright, which is playing Winter Moon, so... As we've seen, Winter Moon can be a lot of things. <laughs> so, not sure how things will line up, but... Uh, have fun. Uh, battle here, and just put a chat there. This is a keep. This is absolutely a keep. Uh, if we uh, manage to draw a shard on top of that, that is not a uh, dual shard. A shard of Atriad will be in a fantastic position. So, all right, no shard. Uh, we're opening here with a. I think we're going to open with a. He's likely to have Scarn, so I'd rather play a Bunny Palm on. Yeah, there's no way we play Bunny Palm on turn two. Uh, how does this work? Turn one, Atria, turn two, Duelist. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'd rather play a Bunny Palm on turn two, I believe. So we'll open with a Blood Shard for this one and as a turn so he opened up with a, a wide threshold and if he got it you know if we play do with this first turn and he plays a wide threshold on the second turn then uh, we kind of get screwed so here uh, I'm going to go with the ruby and the duelist If he doesn't have a Scarn or a way to kill Duelist next turn, we could uh, brutalize her. And that, that is a nice prospect here. But uh, this is a tree shard deck, so Diamond Sapphire Wild. Alright, so here we go. What do you have? Third turn, Yarfant? Yarfant would be actually be good for us. Uh, he would likely trade it till nothing. Huh. Nothing is good. Um, activate champion power. Do you do something, sir? <laughs> do this here, play the shard, play the brutalizer on tree, and then attack with it. Alright, that's a ton of damage. That's two plus two. Oh, lullaby, okay. Lullaby, so we did three plus two. We still did five this turn, and we've got a. A significant board right now so uh, and he still has to deal with the brutalizer even if he kills the duelist we were still able to uh, play the uh, the bunch of ebony pounds that we have and then we nearly have enough damage to kill him in the end right now so uh, wow okay uh, Do it as it is. And how do you handle the second brutalizer, sir? Another lullaby? Another lullaby, okay. So, playing against uh, main. Well, clearly, this uh, deck that we're facing is geared toward handling uh, aggressive decks. How do we fight that? I love the priestess. Uh, 
main deck lullaby that this might just be the fog deck with the uh, immortal spear as the win condition. I don't think we'll be using the outlaw priestess or priestess good. I don't like the duelist for the Karns. Uh, I like preventing Eld gain. I don't think the kiss will be that great here. Not even sure about the burns, but let's see what are our other options. Um, Electrify might just be a, a nice insurance policy if he tries to develop the board. Tendrils needs to have a troop, and him playing two lullabies main deck means that I don't likely to happen. Burn to the ground gives us some reach, and do we side all the tendrils? That's a good question. Tendrils are quick action way to answer Karn, which is not a bad thing. Mm hmm. I think I'm going with the Electro Fries and use them as as more direct damage to the face with the burn to the ground in this matchup. I'm I'm really not sure. Uh we didn't see tons of the opponent deck and uh This might just be a weird brew. Hopefully we get a very aggressive hand and uh, we manage to uh, run through open and distance. So we've got Brutalizer and a regular Bolt, the Witch. We need a Blood Threshold, but uh, we're, we're in a good shape here. We might even turn, you know, we've got enough. If we get another shard, we got turn three regular and open and down to five right now. So OP mill. Five. That is significant for us. Uh, we do keep that, and we're under draw, so uh, we've got a good chance of drawing our uh, shard. Opening with a shard purples, and and we need to keep in mind first game opponent was stuck on two resources as well, so not too great for him. As things are uh, being there, uh, if our opponent doesn't have a white threshold, it has to be a white threshold, yeah. We might be facing a Carnosaurus next turn for the Arena regular, so I'd like to avoid that. But then again, with the two Brutalizers and. Do we just play the bolt? the vortex and pass the turn. I think we'll play the vortex here just uh, keep keep on track with the uh, what's happening and then pass the turn. He might have a Karn. If you have a Karn then we trade a Karn you know for 2 health. Transmog is okay. One little war hero, plus one plus one for each other humans. It, this is not going to happen anytime soon, but we do have a way to deal to deal damage to our opponent right now. A recurring way. And that's the turn. So this is our opponent's third turn. Using focus before playing the shard might mean that he's uh, looking for one. And uh, we really would like to find a shard of our own here. He gets the diamond threshold means he has a Kyotol in the end. That's interesting. And we didn't get a shard, but we get a blood threshold. So, first we attack. 10 for Jin, Max Kick for the follow. Jin, Max Kick, appreciate it, sir. Welcome to the. Welcome to the herd, to the team. Oh, that was a big misplay. Skip the face here that I did not intend to skip at all, and uh, we sh we could have played the device here. This this might just come back to bite us in the ass, but uh, oh well. We've got a lot of gas in our end. If we get shards, then we'll be in a fantastic position. Well, fantastic. It really depends on what our opponent is playing, but. Uh, 
A Pathfinder deck. Okay, so this is what's happening. Pathfinder deck. A Ruby. Look at that. Okay, so... This turn we play the Ruby. Play the device. I think we just bowl the Pathfinder here, which is not prophesied. I know we could have used Burning Tendrils, but uh, we're just opening up the next turn. Next turn will be a Brutalizer. And our opponent is very unlikely to play any uh, Carnosaurus since he's playing Pathfinder. So that's a lot of transmogs and uh, maybe repels, things of the sort. So we, we have one window here for an attack with a brutalizer that uh, we will take. And we get a shard, perfect, okay, so. And next turn we will be able to tendrils the pathfinder and an attack. That sounds like a good line here. Alright, all right. things are working out, uh, we could have had a, maybe a better turn if I would have played the infusion device uh, in a better timing, but I think we would have still used the, uh... alright, no shards, this is perfect, so now we're going to go to town, so activating champion power. Tendrils on the Pathfinder here. Decking for 3, 6, 7. Bringing our opponent down to a grand total of 5. Alright. So we'll be drawing the Pathfinder again, drawing another card. But if he plays it for defense, uh, depending on what we draw, we might just get him. So. He's in a spot where um, he needs to have a lullaby, and even then he might just die anyway. Uh, Arena regular, how do we play this? I think we just brutalizer and just attack. Good old, uh, good old fashioned uh, attack for the win. Might be a mart here. Transmogrophane. Huh. Silver Rock is uh, interesting here. Uh, you should have waited for me to land the Brutalizer with speed and then Transmog. That way, if he transforms it into a troop, he doesn't have speed anymore and I can attack with it. So. And the Rook right now gives us a way to deal one damage to him. So he's going to gain hate. Uh, okay, so priority next will be for the Ember, Ember Spire Witches. And... Uh, nine. If we get a shard, we might just get him anyway. With the other Brutalizer. With five we can activate the Rook. And attack with double brutalizer. Activate champion power two. Double brutalizer is uh, six. And if he doesn't have, he can't play a lot of buy. He might have another transmog, but uh, if we get a shard, we'll be in a good position. We're already in a good position, but uh... gambit. Okay. All right. No resources open. Shard, shard, priestess. We we had the kill with a shard here. Uh, we're definitely playing two ember spire witches to prevent him from gaining a a crap a metric ton of health. So uh, that will be the plan for this turn. And then even if he plays the uh, 
Even if he plays the the um, prophesied, even if he plays a prophesied a prophesied uh, pathfinder with a ton of health and replicated, uh, that doesn't help him survive. At least it doesn't gain gain him health. And if we get a shard, we can easily kill him. All right. What do you do, opponent? I think you still need to play the Pathfinder to have the, uh, you know, to have seven Pathfinder on the board. But if we get a shard, he's dead, so we need to be very, very careful here. So... Champion power activation. Rook. Attack with everything. Okay, so... Burn and we win. Alright, we pull a 2-0 win. So, this means that our prize pool is growing by 100 pet platinum again.